Hi guys, welcome back to The Crafty Author. My name is Anissa, I am The Crafty Author. And welcome to my quilting slash craft room where all the beautiful magic happens. Um, today, we are kicking off the block of the month. I have decided to use a stash buster. So I'm calling this my spring medley stash busting block of the month sampler quilt. So I'm going to be showing you how to make a variation of quilt blocks that we will be putting together at the end of the year for a quilt. And my goal is to get each quilt block at 12 inches squared. So keep that in mind. It will probably be a very good sized quilt. Um, we are going to start simple and get more, um, more into more complex blocks. That way, if we have beginners who are starting with us, or even if you're a seasoned quilter, this is a really good refresher on how to make some of the more simpler blocks and then build your way up to more complex blocks. I hope that makes sense. Um, so with that said, I'm gonna show you the fabrics that I will be using. So I have had these fabrics in my stash for a long time. It's, these are fat quarters. So this is what you're going to need. You're going to need fat quarters or you're going to need a bunch of fabric in your own stash that you just want to use up and get rid of. So um, my recommendation is to have some darks, lights, and mediums in there because it's going to depend on what the block is as to what kind of fabric you're going to need. I am also going to be using these polka dots as my lights for, um, for this project. I'm really excited to see what it turns out like. This will be my first sampler quilt as well. So I'm really, really looking forward to this. Um, so the first block that I have made for this is a four patch. It's a four patch. Now I know some of you are sitting there going, okay, it's a four patch and it's really easy to do. Yes. Well, yes, it is. But you can do a lot of things with a four patch. You can cut this up to make it make a really cool design. You can use it just the way it is. Um, and actually, I would like to next week for Friday. Oh, my dog's barking again. I apologize. Um, the neighbor's probably out there grilling something because she always wants food. I'm just, that's why she's out there barking. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, so there is, you can do it that way or, um, you can do, I forgot what I was saying because of my dog. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, is that you can make a lot of different things in a lot of different variations with a simple block. So next week, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make, I think probably a table runner out of a four patch and show you what that looks like so that you can see what you can make with a four patch design. Okay. All right, so I've gone ahead and ironed my two fat quarters together. And I ironed them right sides facing together. That way when I cut them, I don't have to, um, line them up when I go to the sewing machine. They'll already be together and they'll be perfectly cut the same size and I can just sew. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to come over here and I am going to cut off the selvage end of this fabric here. Okay. I'm going to be making a 12 inch block. I could cut this at six and a half for each block, but I'm gonna cut it at seven. And the reason I'm gonna cut it seven by seven is because it gives me a little extra room that if um, my seam allowance is off just a tad or um, whatnot, I have enough to play with and I can still get that 12 inch block accomplished. Um, yes, I will have to square it up and we will be doing all of that, but we will not square up the blocks probably until we're ready to put this quilt together, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and count seven over. So we got 26. So I'm gonna cut it here. 
And you only need to make one cut with your fabric. Because remember, we're making a four patch. So we can set that one aside. And I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this one. And I'm going to cut this so that this is even. And I'm gonna cut it seven inches. got our pieces cut so like I said you only need to cut those two off that strip so now I'm going to take it over to my sewing machine and I'm just going to stitch down a quarter of an inch on each side okay I have a little lead in here to help me start so that I don't get my fabric and thread all bunched up trim piece of, trim these pieces off all right so the lighting is a little bright in here today because it's daytime <laughs> so I do apologize for that glare but there's nothing I can do about it at this point so anyway so you've sewn your quarter inch down okay and now you're going to take it and finger press towards the dark side so you're gonna just open it up and you're gonna press your seam, just finger press it towards the dark, dark side. You're gonna do that with the next one as well. So just pick it up, just gonna flip it open, if I can ever open this up. And I am just going to finger press down. All right, now I'm going to match these two up and I have a dark in this corner, a dark in this corner, a light in this corner, and a light in this corner. So you want them to be, you want the whites kind of diagonal from each other and the darks diagonal from each other. You're going to take your two pieces and you are going to take your two seams. You've got one, you got them going in opposite directions. You're going to take them and you're going to bud them up. And this is going to help you to line up your seams perfectly so that when you sew them, they're going to meet in the middle and you're not going to have a wonky mess. Now, wonky mess is fine. I like it sometimes, but sometimes we don't want that. Sometimes we want our stuff just to line up. This is one of those times. So now I'm just going to bring it over here and I'm just going to start sewing. Make sure that these are lining up at the top. I will now open this. I'm going to finger press. And I'm just kind of letting the uh, seam tell me which way it wants to go. And at this, in this case, it wants to go this way up. So now we have an awesome four patch. So I'm gonna go press this with my iron. All right, so that was very simple. And um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I know it was fast and I know it was easy and we like it that way and it won't always be that way. <laughs> but hopefully I'll be able to teach you how to do it in an easier way that'll click with you so that you can continue to make beautiful quilts. So this is our block our four patch. I do want to show you what I did do with another four patch that I cut up, okay? So this is a different variation of a four patch that I was talking to you about. I sewed a four patch just like this, and then I cut it diagonally. 
and I sewed the pieces together. Now, the only thing that I didn't do was I didn't make two of these. So I'll, I would need to make two of these four patch blocks to make one block of this. But you can see this is something that you can make with a four patch and it's really, really cool. So we may be doing that next week for our table runner. I just don't know. You just never know. So that is it for me today. I hope that you really enjoyed this video. I know it is short, um, but we are going to be having so much fun with this block of the month. I'm really excited about it. Also, um, if you'd like to follow me on social media, the links are down below in the description box. I um, also am an Amazon Dollar Tree Cricut and AccuQuilt affiliate. So if you are to purchase anything that you see me use on here, um, that you would like to purchase through those links. If you do that, I will make a small commission and I greatly appreciate it if you do do that because it supports the channel and it helps me to purchase fabric and other items for the craft room that I'm able to show you how to use. Um, box, don't forget to give this video a like and a share because sharing is caring. And don't forget to subscribe every time you click that if you click that little bell, you will get notified each and every time that I upload a new video. And that is it for me today. Keep on crafting. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and a beautiful week next week. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.